हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज़ द फ्रिक्शन टॉपिक सो अगेन वी आर गिवन दैट द 80 के जी मैन विद सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी जी सपोर्ट्स द थर्टी फोर के जी ड्रम एज शोन फाइंड द ग्रेटेस्ट डिस्टेंस एक्स एट विच द मैन कैन पोजिशन हिमसेल्फ विदाउट स्लीपिंग If the coefficient of static friction between his shoes and the ground is 0.40, so from this whole statement we can conclude that uh, without slipping means that the body of the man remains at rest, and in other words we can say that the body of the man is in equilibrium, right? So now it's the problem is quite simple, right? If I if I draw the free body diagram, right? So then here we will have the tension in this cable, right? so let's say if if this is the tension in the cable so this tension in the cable will be equal to 34 into 9.81 right which, which will be equal to the weight of this drum right and here at this particular point g the weight of the main will be acting vertically downward like this right and this weight is 80 times 9.81 right so this is the weight and this is 80 times 9.81 and in this problem we will assume that this the line of action of this tension passes through that point g this is assumption in this problem right here between the shoes and the surface we will have that friction force right let's say this is that friction force and here we will have that normal force which will be acting vertically upward right and this friction force will be equal to we can say that this friction force will be equal to mu s n and we are given this mu s now if the main is not slipping so this means that if the main is in equilibrium then the summation of these 1 2 3 4 uh, four forces by head to tail rule they must be equal to zero their resultant must be equal to zero right so first of all if i find the resultant of both of these so the resultant of both of these will be like this right if we add both of these right this is the friction force and this is the normal force so the summation of both of these by head to tail rule will give us a resultant reaction right like this and let's say that the angle between this normal and the resultant is let's say phi right so i here right here is phi right so now if i apply tan phi to this triangle right so we can say that tan phi will be equal to this is that friction force and this is equal to mu s n right so we can write that this is mu s n divided by that n this is the perpendicular this is the base right so n will cancel out so we will be left with tan phi equals to mu s and mu s is given which is 0.40 right so we can say that phi will be equal to tan inverse mu s and mu s is 0.40 so this will give us the angle of the resultant with the normal or we can say that it will give us the angle of the resultant with the vertical right so this gives us we can say this is 10 inverse 0.4 and this is equal to 21.80 right so phi angle is 21.80 degrees right so now if i remove all these so we are left with these three forces 1 2 and 3 so now if the if the if the main is in equilibrium if he, if he is at rest so the summation of these three forces must be equal to zero by head to tail rule right so now if i draw that resultant r and that resultant r is making phi angle with the vertical if i draw that vertical line here right if i draw a vertical line here so this angle is phi right remember and then if i draw that Uh, tension in the cable which is making some angle as well like this right and the weight of the body is acting vertically downward like this right so this is that tension in the cable let's say this is represented by t and this tension in the cable is equal to 34 into 9.81 so 34 into 9.81 is 3 333.54 so this is 333.54 newtons right here we have that resultant which is not known 
and the weight of the main is 80 times 9.81 so 80 times 9.81 so this gives us 784.8 so 784.8 this is the weight right which is acting vertically downward right so now if this angle is alpha then this angle is sorry if this angle is phi then this angle is also phi since both of these angles are alternate angles right and let's say that this tension t is making some angle theta with the horizontal right and then let's say that this angle is beta right so now if if this is the resultant so this angle is also equal to beta right since both of these angles are alternate angles so if we know alpha then beta will be 90 minus alpha right so we can write that beta is equal to 90 90 minus phi sorry I am confusing uh, alpha with phi right so this is 90 minus phi so 90 minus phi and phi is known which is 21.80 so this is 21.80 so 90 minus 21.80 so this gives us that beta angle which is 68.20 this is 68.20 degrees this is beta now if i apply the sine's law i am interested to find this theta right so if i apply sine's law so then then we can say that sine of theta plus beta right sine of theta plus beta divided by the opposite side which is 784.8 is equal to sine of phi and phi is 21.80 divided by the the magnitude of the opposite side which is 333.54 so from this we can say that sine of theta plus beta equals to 784.8 sine of 21.80 divided by 333.54 so this sine of alpha plus beta uh, theta plus beta is 784.8 into uh, sine of 21.80 divided by 333.54 and this gives us 0 0.874 this is equal to 0 0.874 sine of theta plus beta and if I take sine inverse so we will get theta plus beta this is sine inverse sine inverse answer so this gives us 60.90 right so this is equal to 60.90 right or we can say that this is also equal to 180 minus 60.90 right let me find it 180 minus 60.90 so this gives us 119.1 119.1 degrees right why this is so both of these angles are supplementary angles and the sine of both of these will will be equal to this thing right if we check it sine of sine of this answer if i find sine of 119.1 so it must be equal to that 0.874 is 0.874 right and again 60.9 is will be also equal to 0.874 right so there are two possibilities either theta plus beta is equal to 60.90 or it is equal to 119.10 but now as we can see that beta is 68.20 so and then if we add some angle theta with that 68.20 so it will not be equal to 60.91 so it means that this is not possible right so we, we can use this value to find that theta so now we can write that theta plus beta equals to 119.1 and we are interested to find theta so this is 119.1 minus beta and beta is 
119.1 minus beta and beta is 68.20. So this is 68.20 and we can find it this is 119.1 minus 68.20 and this is equal to 50.9. So theta equals to 50.9 degrees, right? And now if we assume that the line affection of this tension force passes through that point G, so we can draw, we can draw a triangle like this, right? So this is that angle theta which is equal to 50.9 and this length, the total length from the ground is 5 meters, this length is given, this is 1 meters. So, the perpendicular of this triangle, this length is 4 meters, right? and this length is x, remember, right? So, we can apply tan theta, right? So, I will write tan theta and the perpendicular is 4 meters and the base is x, right? Remember that this triangle, this triangle is like this, right? Remember that this matches with this line, right? So, this length is equal to x and this is 4 meters, right? So, from this we can find v naught theta, right? So, from this we can say that that x which is equal to 4 divided by 10 theta and theta is known which is 50.9, we have just determined it, right? So, that x will be equal to 4 divided by 10 50.9 and this gives us 3.25 meters. Or uh, more precisely, we can say that it is 3.251 meters, right? But we will say that it is approximately 3.25 meters. If the main is at a distance of 3.25 meters from this particular point, so uh, there will be no slipping, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood the solution of this particular problem like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems.